What are you doing? <laughs> I got an idea. Just trust me on this. How much are them? $150. Oh my God. <laughs> blind dogs, obviously they don't have their eyes, but the good thing about blind dogs is that dogs' strongest senses are their nose and their ears. They're really good at listening and they're really good at smelling. The problem with no <laughs> The problem with not having eyes is they can't see things and they'll run into it. Kobe's an old pro. He's had scent training, he knows how to use his nose and his ears. Now Kobe can find me with his nose. Watch this, watch this. Kobe! Kobe! I think he knew you were there the whole time, so that, yeah. oh! <laughs> Kobe knew where I was at, like he was just standing by me. Uh, but like we can stand still and try to sneak away from us and it doesn't matter, he can find us. Willie doesn't know how to use his nose yet and he's barely good at using his ears. So to get him to follow me and let him know where I'm at, I've got to snap or tap my leg or whistle. And that is how we effectively get somewhere. Otherwise, he'll run off and he won't know where I'm at. Now there's another way that you can work with blind dogs and that's by putting bells on your feet. That's kind of old and antiquated and then you're walking around with bells on your feet. So, I've got a better way. Come inside, I'll show you. Come on boys, let's go. So, this little piece of gold right here, dog gold, look at this. Like, that's like the cream filling in the donut. What if you cut out the actual air part of the Nike and then you put the squeaker in there? So that way you had Nike Air Squeakers. Okay, I'm gonna try these on first because I think these are gonna be epic, so we'll save these for the finale. Why don't I go first and then we'll, I'll have you film and then we'll switch and have you try yours. Okay. Okay. Why are you walking like this? I walk, because I don't want to. I don't want to pre-test them, so I'm walking on my tiptoes. But look how style they are. They like even match my sweater and everything. Yeah, it's a good look. Okay, here we go. This is the first ever test of the Nike Air Squeakers for blind dogs. Let's see if it works in action. Shoe test number one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. You hear it? I gotta like step on my. Oh, 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 oh no! Here, I'll get him away from you. I'll get him away from you. I have to like slam on my heels, but they love it. We can't figure out where it's coming from. Look! I don't even have to snap my fingers. <laughs> I cannot laugh. <laughs> You're walking really great. <laughs> I have to like slam down on the heel to, to get it to squeak. Look, he's so excited. Are you excited about this test? Well, I think we're going to have to tell Willie's adopters that he has a bad habit of chewing shoes, and we don't know where he got it from. We have no idea. No idea. <laughs> Just also, uh, as a condition of adopting him, you are unable to watch our YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't think it's working. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what was the dance there? What, what was... <laughs> I was just trying to... Why aren't they squeaking? I don't... I, maybe I don't weigh enough because I'm so light. Jump. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this works. This works. Test number two, a success. These are going to be amazing. Just on my tippy toes, they're squeaking. Okay, here we go. The ultimate test. Here we go. The first ever Nike Air Squeaker Max test loaded with 10 squeakers. All right, boys, here we go. <laughs> they're a hit, they found me, but they think they're dog toys. <laughs> they work too good. <laughs> ah! 
They work too good! <laughs> Help me! Help! Success. We invented something new here today that's gonna help blind dogs everywhere, but not necessarily my ankles. Ow, Willie! Willie, ow! Oops. I have a question for you. Yeah. When you woke up this morning, <laughs> what did you think you'd be doing today? Not this, that's for sure. But look, you look good, you know? Yeah, but serious question. Okay. Couldn't we have just put the squeakers in the shoe instead of having to like cut the air pockets? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, true, true innovation comes comes at a real cost. In, in all seriousness, though, th this stuff's fun. I'm really, I am. We are blessed that we get to do these things and um, get to have fun with these dogs, and it's it's fun enrichment. And we will have to spend a little time training him to not. Well, he won't be biting people's shoes if they don't squeak. Well, so hopefully, <laughs> if you come around Willie and your shoes squeak, that's your fault and not ours because we've warned you. <laughs> okay, update three weeks later. I'm a little sad right now. I mean, for a good reason. Willie's been adopted. He was adopted like three weeks ago. A couple days after that video. <laughs> Flip's actually been getting a break, but oh, Kobe coming in! <laughs> come here, Kobe. Don't don't knock the camera over. Oh yes. Yeah. Kobe misses Willie really bad. Uh, but it's good. This is this is a process you go. Oh, come here, come here. This is a process you go through when you foster. But you got to see some of these pictures of him with his new family. They're really awesome. And if you didn't see his adoption video, I'll link it down below. Go check that out right now, um, or just search my go to my main channel, Rocky Kanaka, and you'll find it there. I definitely wanted to give you an update because so many of you are on this journey with us of fostering Willie, and it's always so heartbreaking when they go. And I know sometimes a lot of you get upset. You say, why didn't you keep him? But that's kind of my journey. And that's why that's why you foster. It doesn't mean you can't adopt a dog when you foster them. That that happened with Kobe, but of most of the dogs I foster, I, they don't end up staying with me because kind of my my mission, my journey is to helping rehabilitate them. And I'm excited to keep doing that. And so I miss Willie just so much. But He's in such a good place right now, and when you foster, if you've ever fostered, if you're ever going to foster, what you'll find is that you miss them, you know, because they come in, especially the ones that are really broken, and you, you know, they're your world. Like, Willie was my world for months. Even dogs that I fostered, like, back in the day, like Blossom and Herschel and, and Jalapeno and Wade, R.I.P. Wade, they stick with you for a long time, and some days you get some just overwhelming sadness, and some days overwhelming happiness, and uh, that's okay, you know, because above all else, there's just that that rewarding feeling, right? You you get something from helping these animals. I, I always get far more than the, than the dog ever gets. I always learn a lesson with each dog. I think with Willie, the lesson that I learned is I was ready for a broken dog to come into my house and he was anything but. He was happy and he was fun and he was brave and he was excited and are you peeing over there while I'm trying to make a video? <laughs> um, you know, because Kobe is, he needs a lot of guidance and a lot of help and he has really, really high, the highest anxiety I've ever seen in a dog. So he always needs me, really didn't need me at all. I, had, I still had to work on training him so that he, so he wasn't biting and, but um, yeah, I guess all of this is just to say that if you ever want to foster, if you're ever thinking about fostering, now is the time to do it. Like this, this year, this month, get started. And if you don't know where to start, reach out to some of your local groups, start by volunteering. Um, it's just so awesome. And I'm so excited for uh, whatever the next dog is. So if you know any good ones that need fosters, let me know. Shoot me a DM, leave me a comment down below. I'm excited for what, what's next. But ah, I miss Willie so much. All right, I'm gonna play with the other dogs. See you soon, guys.